In this video, you're gonna watch a live sourcing clip we took from one of the live streams I do with my friend Joji uh, yesterday. If you wanna see future live streams, live sourcing, hang out with us live, join my free Discord down below or turn post notifications on on YouTube to be notified of that. So we're gonna talk about the tools to use for online arbitrage, examples of profitable items, how to find coupons, all my strategies around that. So stick around for the whole video. Let's jump inside my screen and get after it. Um, ooh, ooh, we might have a lead right here. Might have a lead right here. Okay. We 9.99 let's see oh, no. okay so see how the brand's on it right there yeah that's 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 not good not good but it's not bad though because see how everyone else is making money here though yeah mm -hmm. so there's no cliff right that's what you basically exactly saying. right and, and the price isn't going down so that's mm -hmm. how you know people are happily making money <laughs> like you know just you know foundational principles of logic if the price yeah. is going down people are selling it at the price they want to sell it at Right. Now, my uh, my Chrome's messed up, man. I bet you they don't let me go to this website. Watch this. Almost guarantee they won't. Yep. Look at that. Oh, that sucks. We got. Oh, oh, I found it profitably though. Look at that, right? So retail, retail me not assuming that works, right? Yeah. Assuming either one of these work, right? I who knows? That's they might, they might not, right? Assuming sales tax doesn't exist, or we can even let's assume like eight percent sales tax, right? So we take yeah. off. We pay like eight six right here. Okay, so it's not quite. Oh, I also do have 10% sales tax factored in right now because I was doing a okay. one-off one prior to this. So it really is like, for most of you guys, like 7.5 right there. So not quite, if that 30 off does hit, then it'd be like 6.5 right there. And then it's a little low profit per unit right there. So I don't love this. However, sales that's great here, there. Oh, yeah. You know, this has been a time. And who knows, maybe maybe this website has a crazy rewards program or something which ends right. up getting it cheaper, you know? And then if it's like 5, then it's awesome. Yeah, right no, that, that's that's good. This one's okay. good too. Yeah, so I, I think I saw some of you posted earlier. It might have been today or yesterday, but you said like, I think it was top five mistakes you make. One of them is not like uh, b building in like, uh, what is it like credit card thing or not credit card. Um, yeah, yeah, coupons you know and, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Here's a good lead, I think. Oh no, 40 right here. Never mind. Let's see. Ah, check this out though. Six jars so we can pay 186. Right, so 186 divided by and 15% cash back. Holy shit! Okay, how accurate is that Rakuten? Like, oh, 100%. Is, oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Like, they, they will never let you down. Okay, That's I cool. promise. Right. I, yeah, they'll, they'll never let you down. Okay, get immediate access to see now. Something like this is probably going on. Like, this is probably like signing up for this might end uh -huh. up making it good because at uh, six jars at 186 right here, so 186 divided by six right here. Yeah. makes it 31 right there right, right. um and then th so 31 is still not quite good at 40 right right it's about break even right but yeah. let's say signing up for that thing that popped up somehow ends up giving us like another 15 percent off another 20 percent off and in this case you might want to count the racketin because it's so significant right. Right? right and we end up at like a 25 cost total right gotcha. 24 25 cost you know then this also factors in 10 percent sales tax right now Right. Um, yeah, that's not quite good enough. And also, too, what can happen is sometimes if you check out on a website, they'll offer you more at a discount, like an upsell, basically. Interesting. That's yeah, cool. yeah, so that might be it as well. Well, how much do you have to buy? Is it like you have to buy a lot for them to offer you that? No, upsell? typically, like a lot of supplement websites, like that's how they make a lot of their money is that they, they, they make money off the recurring. And then the easiest way to get money from a, or the easiest way to make more money is to sell more to the customers you already have. Gotcha. Right? It's like that, I'm sure. Helps to see these caps right here. 17, 17 into, uh, yeah, seven. We about break even right there. Even, yeah. I was selling a bunch of these back in the day, back uh, <laughs> back up here. 20, 20, yeah, okay, 25. Well, no, maybe it, wasn't, it was one of the other hats right there. For anyone watching, if you just want to find good listings to search, you can just search like any like keyword on Amazon and you see what Amazon shows up immediately right there. And yeah. if Amazon's showing you it on this search, you know that a bunch of third-party sellers are making money selling it. Because look at these review counts right here. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? They, you know, they have to be. They have to be making money on it because they're selling it to make money. And if they're selling a ton of them, then you know they're making money on it. And they gotta be making money somehow. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And who knows where they're getting? It could be outlets, whatever. There's yeah. variety of a uh, variety of potential right there. It's a good question from Nick. Any tips and tricks with filtering your Google shopping results uh, when you do your first sourcing? You know, I'm all about it if there are, but I don't know any person. I just kind of <laughs> look at whatever comes up. Okay, I have my glasses on and I have a blue light filter at night. 
if this yeah. is khaki right here, which I yeah, it looks khaki to me. I'm also part colorblind, so I could I don't know. Oh. <laughs> these are good. Know. If these are uh, khaki, right? They here. look. They look. That's what I would say if I had to say yeah, what they khaki were. Khaki right here. Check it out. Then we got a Thank lead you. right here. Let's okay. see. We got any uh, any rack ten or anything like that? No active codes. Uh, okay. Oh, coupons found available so, coupons. So how much does knowing that there's a store wide sale like if like impact your priority in terms of like what you start looking at first? Is yeah. That... So for a lot of beginners, it makes sense to mainly do. All right, this is a good lead right here. Because okay. for anyone watching this, I have uh, I have ten percent sales tax factored in, so a lot of you guys are actually going to end up paying like. 42 25 and stuff like that so uh this is a, a free lead if anyone wants it basically i don't know there's a bunch of you guys watching this like it might not be a good thing <laughs> to buy but just to conceptualize what a good item looks like right yeah and then i yeah. also have inbound shipping factored into amazon as well so it's like that's crazy 41 kbsr right five bucks profit you know you sell one of these a day you just raise your monthly income by you know 150 bucks right there so what percentage of the estimated sell through rate are you like Take into account in terms of how many units you're buying. Yeah, yeah right here. So you see how this is 86% of the total. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. for So this probably sells like 350 times a month right around that. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And then, but in terms of like what you would actually buy. Or how many oh, units? yeah. Yeah. It, it also depends on how many you can get from a website, right? Okay. Um, so, so normally you're going to be capped is what I'm assuming. Like how much you can Yeah. Buy. Well, it depends on the site. But yeah, I mean, dude, like, and especially to you, like, for anyone starting out, like just do small orders, like to get going with. Yeah, that makes sense. Spread it out, right? Diversify yeah, a little bit. Yeah, exactly. The white ones are out of stock. Those would have been good too, though. Interesting. Okay, so basically, the the khaki one takes over that listing, right? So eighty six percent. Pretty much. I was kind of yeah. surprised it did. That is surprising yeah. me because yeah. you would think that khaki is not really. I mean, like thinking yeah, like a logical all. human being, you would think that yeah. that's not the most popular. But I See, guess okay, it is. Amazon different. was on this back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. That's crazy. Heels anti aging, fifty three. Oh, that's cream. I thought that was still the hat. I was like, "There's no way Amazon is selling hat for seventy yeah. dollars." <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Twenty nine ninety nine. Well, I don't know if this can be the right size. One point seven. One point seven. Shit, I'm on fire, ladies and gents. <laughs> thirty bucks. Um, thirty bucks. Okay. Ah. Oh, because this is yeah. See. Oh, four ounces. Of, why are the fees so high? Okay. Um, buy box is FBM though, so we would be able to buy box higher FBA, right? Right. That's good. Um, probably yeah, 53, 53 at least matching the lowest FBA, okay. right there. So fifty three, right? And the so, ship yeah. is going to be free, so we're not actually on a beauty item. That's not bad ROI, but we need some type of coupon for this website, right? Okay. To make that to make that end up right. being good, right? Um, which yep. I would go, I would Google like beauty co, uh, coupon, you know, all, all types. Yeah. of like that gotcha you know, so that makes sense not or any of these guys know oh bang beautiful right assuming this works beauty 50 no. percent off code right we gotcha. paid 25 bang you guys gotta see this is the best stream we've ever had i think <laughs> on this that's good you're on fire dude yeah let's keep it um, oh potential ip right there oh uh, yeah uh, it, probably it just doesn't make sense why that would happen if it wasn't an ip you yeah. know so that's a good chance that there is an ip oh well, yeah, I would say, yeah, I would say that's a pretty good chance there's an IP. Yeah. Right there. Man. Uh, let's see. Nancy says she needs some of your glasses. I think I do too. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Cindy, your, your, aunt, your aunt's in the house. Like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. oh hell yeah, hell yeah. 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 Uh, let's see what else. Can you talk about how to, so Nick says, can you talk about how you vet products to make sure they are the same UPC between the store and Amazon running that problem with Kohl's specifically? Ah, uh, yeah. So, the, yeah. So some of that Kohl's stuff, there might be multiple listings. So you might have multiple opportunities, but yeah, you can check the UPC right here. And then as well as, especially if it's coming from Kohl's, it's probably like clothing or a toy. So it's going to be largely just based on the picture for the most yeah, part. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying, um, Oh uh, yeah, good question for David. If you get a selling application that gets denied, so you're trying to get engaged, and is it better to re to reply to or just close and start a new one? Yeah, just reapply. It's reapply. not gonna make too much of a difference though. Okay. So or it's not. It's not gonna make it much of a difference at all. It's just more convenient to reapply. Gotcha. Yeah, it's really funny because um, like when I'm doing sourcing on my stream, a lot of times I go super quick as well because to me it's second nature, right? Like yeah, like yeah, riding a bike. Um, so it's interesting perspective for me because a lot of times people in my chat like yeah, slow down a little bit, <laughs> um, but it's uh, it's just 
I tell them though, it's man, it's all about like it's percentages, man. It's all about getting through as many lessons as you can as quick as possible. Facts. Facts. Yeah, I'm not sure the sizing on this and my chrome's blocking it for mm-hmm. whatever reason, but these are gonna be close if these are uh, good one floor lounge. Uh okay, how do we yeah, we need yeah, Mr. Chemistry guy. Yeah, you gotta do the conversion, man. One what's the, one floral ounce? Does that floral what's it? What's I that? Don't know. Yeah, I'd have to look it up on Google because that's yeah. I'm all I'm all in the metric system. Oh, but, true, true. Okay. Well, that's I mean it's profitable if that um, if that does convert. But a lot for those of you guys watching this, like a lot of it comes down to like finding an item that's like close on here and then couponing it down. Yeah, couponing. Okay, so you definitely the margins made on the couponing and being yeah, creative, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Dude, check this out right here. So this is ten pounds right here. Uh huh. Ten pounds. Yes. That's super, heavy. Uh, super heavy, yeah. man. Yeah, I don't know. I, I doubt this gonna end up being good right here, but we'll find out. Yeah. So I'm assuming that for OA, like most of the products you buy, got to be pretty light, like. Because I mean. Oh yeah, for sure. And honestly, most of the products bought online, because anything heavy, you know, you're buying in st- any type of appliance or anything. Almost yeah. everyone's still buying in a store. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Or they're not buying it on Amazon, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, okay. Here's Cam. Cam. All right. So Cam, he's he's from uh, from from my stream. He, he's a good guy. So what would you say is the average ROI ROI on a good OA flip? Like this is something you're like, dude. This is this is a yeah, like, like a is- rock star. Well, it depends, right? And that there's tons of stuff that's like you know 100 percent ROI, for example. But you can't get a lot of it, right? Right. A good item that you can get a lot of that's like a home run that you can get a lot of is like 45 percent ROI okay. and like a very low rank to the okay. point to where it sells the day it checks in. That's crazy. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, that's funny because so cans from the book world as well. We're like, I'm always like ROI. You're trying to get like minimum hundred percent, but obviously <laughs> it's one product doesn't move yeah. as fast. It's like different. Okay. So 30. Cool. Yeah. I was actually doing a little bit of, um, I was just dabbling with it a little bit the other day. I was looking at Patagonia. They have like a store, a uh, site wide. Yeah, I don't deal. think you can do Gonia on there. You can or can't? No, Gonia, I'm pretty sure is that. Uh, well, let's look at it. Yeah, let's look at it. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think I think Celeram said there was like IP issues with it or yeah. something like that. So I was like, oh, okay. let's see. But um, I'm, uh, I'm curious. Do you look at Do you look at the offers tab at all when you're doing OA research? Not really, I man. I just like go look at some of the listings you sold, and they won't be that accurate to your actual yeah. sold number. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. People are totally selling it. Weird. Yeah, look at that, man. Yeah. I mean, as long as these aren't our, like, retailers. Yeah, dude has no reviews. Yeah. Yeah, these... <laughs> oh, all very low, yeah. Yeah, it's been around for a while, too. And then what you can do with this, though, is go on the offers. And I actually don't do this much, but then see that the people have been replanning it. Gotcha. So you went, yeah, one of the first... Or most likely replanning it. You know, yeah. they, they were on it a minute ago and still are. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... I, I don't even know what this is. Nick says, can you talk about products with NSR? Heard that there's some solid products that fit in the category. So assuming you use Keep It to vet it further. NSR, not sure as well. Yeah. Um, Damn, yeah, gonna... Cindy, Cindy, this is going to be recorded. Yeah, this is recorded. You'll be able to, so if you go on. Yeah, I might even clip there. this and post it, honestly. Yeah, this is, this like is the, uh, the sourcing clip. For sure. Uh, ham, yeah, you can you can ungate from Kohl's, from what I, yeah, I understand. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. What else we got? So, uh, what if it has no BSR? So if it has no BSR, I mean that just means it doesn't move. That's right? typically yeah. There's actually a lot of stuff in OA that doesn't have a BSR. You would check the keeper to see if like the off count's going down and stuff like gotcha. that to see if it's still moving. Gotcha. Um, let's see. that's some free game. Keep a product finder for stuff with no BSR with a decreasing offer count. That's interesting. Yeah. I, I didn't even think about doing that, but that yeah. makes sense. I mean, the only, only logical reason why I use off account or new off account to be going down is because people are moving it. Yeah. And then for anyone watching this, I would pass on this due to the increasing off yeah. account right there. That's like the number one thing I say with, with book online arbitrage. If the yeah. used off account goes up like crazy, it's like, it's just supply and demand. It's like that simple. Yeah, see now something like this though. See, it's only been around 82 days. This is probably really profitable still. It's probably because this is a brand new like sports cards, right? It's yeah. probably pretty profitable. Um yeah. to the point to where for you know a bunch of people are making money. Something like that. I just have a conviction that it would 
still be good. This, however, though, is probably not. See Jan 14. Yeah. It's going over crazy. Five right there. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's got face masks? All right. Yeah. I don't, these are Under Armour, though, so I, I don't have any ethical concerns over, oh, okay. over there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's see. Someone says OCB medication ungate question mark. Yeah, Walgreens, Walgreens. Walgreens, gotcha. Yeah. Aha. Oh, no, slightly different, slightly different. Yeah, what are these retail for? Oh, yeah, this is probably an outlet find. Yeah, do like five bucks. Live sourcing. I like it. 44 Coles. Yeah, I need a coupon this pretty hard because it's selling for 44 right there. Super nice and stable right here. Mm -hmm. That price action. Um. Smexy says, honestly, I guess the majority, honestly, I, I guess that the majority of OA leads probably start from some smart dudes keep a product finder results. I mean, dude, the product finder, like if you use it, I mean, I can always say from experience from books, but it is insane. Ooh, okay. Check this out, right? 14 okay. right there. Mm -hmm. Plus 20. Need, uh, yeah, I need to, oh, well, yeah, actually, never mind. Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, the, everything this dude bought was tanking. <laughs> this brand he's, in a, he's got a leads list or a... yeah and that was like the kind of the type of items that would be on it too yeah yeah that's why you got a source on your own ladies and gents yeah let's see let's see let's pull up a couple couple more right here cuddle hmm. weird see how there's a uh, no buy box here and mm -hmm. uh not even a, oh i didn't have it on oh never mind people are making money on this yeah Okay, cool. So let's find uh, one more good one right here. Damn, okay, so this brand's clearly good. Yeah. So this person's got basically yeah. everything from the, well, not yeah. everything, but it's got a lot of stuff. Got Super it. cheap. Yeah, 850 right here. All right. <laughs> 850 clearance. clearance. Jeez. All right, well, they think we're a bot. Activate 10% cash back. That's lit. Belk? Wait. Um, oh, we almost made it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So someone says, I've been watching your videos and trying to get back to FBA. Kind of finding it difficult where to start. The way I have the tools and know some ways, but hard to find where to start since I'm since I'm not ungated. Yeah, well, ungating is going to be easy, man, because from now on, you'll just buy 10 and use wherever you were going to buy from to, yeah. and, uh, and then go from there. Basically. So this actually would be pretty profitable. If this was in stock right here, at yeah. 850 in any of these sizes, 850 into uh, 10. And this is with 10% sales tax too. And there's also a coupon that popped up there. So this is looking like a nice little brand right here. Actually, but yeah, I would start from, you know, what you're seeing in this video, you know, or like you can do like Nike outlets, right? If you've got any nearby, just get some quick wins on the board and start building momentum. Yeah. So Lum says, would a product not sell if there's no buy box? I'd say it definitely not. Like it's just still sell. But... It sells slower. Yeah, yeah, definitely a lot slower, but it definitely doesn't stop selling. And then they, the follow up is the listing suppressed if there's no buy box. I mean, the buy yeah. box is suppressed. If there's yeah, no I think technically it's it's different, but like basically, yeah, yeah. not as much though. Interesting. Cindy, so your, Cindy says you can even get a gated with Amazon purchases. I just did with some makeup. Yeah, program. true. You just probably wouldn't be profitable in that case. Yeah, you can do some money to make some money in the long run. That'd be true. Very true. 17. Aha, we got a winner right here. 17. Boom. That's good. Yep. Right there, assuming the sizes match up. 38. Medium, mm. medium average. All right, cool. Yeah, 17. Uh, assuming this, I mean, it looks pretty much like the right thing. Obviously, you know, you could match it up further, but right. looking pretty good. Yeah, 17. Like seven. Nice. 10 bucks profit. Love to see it. That is the online arbitrage game in uh, in a nutshell, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of the clip for the video that I'm going to clip from the stream. If you're watching the end of this video on my channel, though, definitely subscribe and turn post notifications on so you can see more. You can actually come live and hang out with us while we do this in future videos, too. That's but awesome, yeah, cool.